Harry and Meghan leave empty-handed at the 2021 Emmys, the royal family were made the butt of the joke. Oprah Winfrey's interview with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle lost out at the 2021 Emmys. But they lost to the worthiest opponents, Stanley Tucci in an enormous amount of pasta. Oprah Winfrey's bombshell interview with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle was one of the most anticipated and feverishly discussed TV events of the year. Filmed in California, the interview saw the couple open up about the painful circumstances behind their decision to leave the royal family, the parallels between their experience with the media and Princess Diana's, and their fraught dynamics with several key royals. So it's no surprise that the CBS documentary in which the interview was released, Oprah with Meghan and Harry, earned an Emmy nomination this year in the Outstanding Hosted Nonfiction Series or Special category. That prize was handed out at last weekend's Creative Arts Semis ceremony, and sadly, the documentary lost out. The winner was CNN's Stanley Tucci, Searching for Italy, a delightful show in which the beloved actor travels across Italy to uncover the history of various regional cuisines. Since Meghan and Harry are known pasta fans, we suspect they're just fine with this outcome. In any case, this won't be Harry and Meghan's last shot at an Emmy win. The couple have signed a multi-year Netflix deal, which will pay them to produce documentaries, docu-series, feature films, scripted shows, and children's programs through their company Archiel Productions. Cedric the Entertainer hosted the Emmys 2021 and couldn't resist poking fun at the royal family as he referenced Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's bombshell claims in their Oprah Winfrey interview. As he spoke to the crowd of Hollywood A-listers who had gathered in Los Angeles for the ceremony, the comedian joked, as great as the crown is, it pales in comparison to the real monarchy. Oh, I mean that Oprah interview with Prince Harry and Meghan. That was the real tea right there, wasn't it? Cedric took jabs at the monarchy and revealed his shock at the couple's claim that a senior royal had questioned how dark their son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor's skin tone was going to be before he was born. He continued, Meghan must put it on that boy because he renounced his throne quicker than Eddie Murphy in coming to America. The star added as the crowd laughed, I can't believe they were talking about little Archie. How dark that little baby gonna be. Cedric stated the royals would need Archie around to teach them how to create social media content, as he continued, they need little Archie. Charles can't dance, who else going to teach them how to TikTok? I can just see it now, baby Archie with the queen, like come on gammy. He then pictured what it would be like if Queen Elizabeth and Archie made a TikTok together, the whole crown behind them like, okay your majesty, I see you. Josh O'Connor and some of the crown cast were seen on camera looking sheepish as Cedric joked on stage. The funny man lived up to his name as he entertained the crowd with jokes about the fact guests had to be fully vaccinated in order to attend. His remarks came after a landmark sit-down with Oprah earlier this year where both Meghan and Harry revealed their discontent at a number of issues within the palace. The Duchess of Sussex described the Queen as being really welcoming in one part, however, she also discussed how she felt upset after her son Archie was not made a prince. She claimed that there were multiple conversations and concerns about how dark her son's skin color would be and concerns about